42nd day of Lent. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather once again to reflect on the word of God, let us turn our attention to the reading from Isaiah. In this passage, we hear the Lord calling his servant, saying, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. This servant is none other than Jesus Christ, who came to save us from our sins and bring us into a new life with God. In the Gospel reading, we see the heartbreaking moment when Jesus tells his disciples that one of them will betray him. Despite their protestations, Jesus knows what is to come, and he willingly goes to his death on the cross for the salvation of all mankind. As we continue our Lenten journey, let us reflect on the sacrifice that Jesus made for us and the love that he has for each and every one of us. Let us also take a moment to remember the saints who have gone before us, who have shown us what it means to live a life of love and service to others. Today, I would like to share with you some examples of saints who have embodied these qualities throughout history. These saints are not as well known as some of the others, but their lives have had a profound impact on the church and the world. One such saint is Saint Margaret of Cortona, who was born in the 13th century and lived a life of extreme poverty and hardship before turning to a life of penance and service to the poor. Another saint is Saint Josephine Bakhita, who was born into slavery and later became a nun, dedicating her life to serving others and spreading the love of Christ. And now, as we seek to honor and remember these saints, let us also look to the future and pray for the intercession of new saints. Today, I would like to propose the name of a new saint, someone who lived a life of remarkable courage and faith in the face of adversity. This saint is Henrietta Lacks, a woman who was diagnosed with cancer in the 1950s and unknowingly contributed to some of the most important medical discoveries of our time. Despite her suffering, Henrietta remained steadfast in her faith and love for her family, showing us all what it means to live a life of grace and courage. So let us pray for the intercession of these saints, both old and new, and let us continue our Lenten journey with hearts full of love and devotion to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.